Welcome to my channel. Today I am really, really, really excited about this video because I decided to recreate a Bratz doll's makeup. So this Bratz doll, ugh, this Bratz doll in particular is called Megan, I think, and she is wonderful. And uh, <laughs> I don't actually know about her that much, but yeah, I just saw her makeup and thought it looked kind of cool. I don't normally do sort of silvery grey tones because I don't feel like it suits me that much. But for this makeup look and for you guys, I did it. So I hope that you enjoy it. I'm really excited, so I'm just going to start the video now and let's begin. I'm going to be using my BH Cosmetics Second Edition Eyeshadow Palette. So obviously in this look, um, it's quite a grey smoky eye. Um, I don't normally use grey colours, um, so sort of like cool tones. I like to use warm rich browns or pinks or things like that. So I was struggling to find a palette that I could use that had these sorts of colours in, um, but my BH Cosmetics palette has everything so I knew that I could use that. So that is what I'm going to be using today. Now, as you can see in this sheet here, you've got this row of grey tones which is going to be perfect for this look. But first of all I'm going to apply my NYX Full Coverage Concealer in the shade Fair. And today I'm just going to use this as my eyeshadow primer. You may have noticed if you watch my channel regularly that I'm doing things in a slightly different order. Um, everybody that does makeup, well most people say it's better for you to do your foundation last and I do get that, but most of the time I do my foundation first, but just today I thought I would do my foundation like everybody says you should. And I'm just setting that with my Manakada HD Perfecting Powder. So to start off the eyeshadow look, I'm going to use this pale silvery shade here, and I'm just going to apply that using my Morphe E13 brush. So this is just really to begin to build up the eyeshadow because it's not really a noticeable colour but um, as I said it's just to build it up. Do you know it's really annoying me that I haven't done my brows yet so I am just going to cut into the eyeshadow tutorial and just quickly do my brows and I will be back. I really feel like my brows look terrible today, I just don't know what happened. So I'm just going back in with that shade and just going right out towards the end of my brow and just sweeping this all across the lid. So now I'm going to start to build up this eyeshadow look by taking this darker shade here and I'm using my H&M crease blending brush just to start to apply that into the outer corner and then work it up towards the crease. You can take it like slightly further out here, just only slightly though, um, you don't want to do it quite as far as the lighter shade that you used. And then just make sure that it follows a nice line round your crease. I'm going to soften that back in with my Morphe E13 brush. Next up I'm taking this darkest colour here and I'm going to be using my MAC 219 pencil brush and I'm going to start to apply that to the outer corner. So with each shade you are going slightly further less out. Wow, I can just notice how this colour really does not suit me. This is why I don't do like grey eyeshadow looks normally.
I'm just using the H&M crease blending brush again just to tie that in with the other shadows. Just making sure there's no major creases. To brighten this look up a bit I'm going to be taking the white shimmery shade here and I'm just going to apply that to the inner corner of my eye up to the crease and just keep going back in with the product so that it's a real impact of colour. Well not colour because it's white but you know. I'm also taking the same shade just to do under my brow. Back to my E13 blending brush again, my Morphe, I'm just blending the bright white with the rest of the eyeshadow look. Before I do my lower lash line, I am just going to start with my foundation because I want to get the makeup really close up to here, so that's why I'm going to do that part of the eyeshadow last. I'm just going to make sure that there's no fallout by brushing it away with my Duo Fibre face brush. Alrighty, so first of all I'm going in with my current favourite face primer. <laughs> Couldn't remember what it was called then. Oh my word, it's by Revolution, I just forgot to say the brand. <laughs> now obviously this is a doll and so her complexion is quite flawless. So I'm going to do a fairly full coverage look. So first of all I'm taking my NYX full coverage concealer and I'm using my Morphe Y21 brush just to start to apply that to the areas that are looking maybe a bit red or blemishy or whatever. I am aware this looks completely ridiculous right now. So before blending that in, I'm going to use my e.l.f. foundation and my brand new, well it's not brand new anymore, but my brand new to the camera Beauty Blender by B Cosmetics. And I'm going to just start to apply that to my face. I'm going to just make sure that is as flawless as I could. <laughs> I'm just going to make sure that is as flawless as I can get it by touching that up again with my NYX full coverage concealer. I'm just going to do my under eye area with my Barry M light reflecting concealer. I really don't like wearing as much coverage as this to be honest because I don't know the foundation that I use is quite um, low coverage and so this just feels like quite a lot for me but as I said I just want it to look as much like the Bratz doll as I can And I'm going to use my Primark Mattifying Powder just to set my makeup, which I should have done a minute ago. It is so important that you set your makeup because otherwise it's just going to not last and it just, I don't know, it makes it look more cracked a bit. So now I'm going to start to do my lower lash line and I'm going in with this shade here. Can you see this one? Now 
Next up is probably one of the most important parts of this makeup look and that is the winged liner. So I'm using my Master Ink liner from Maybelline and it's got a fairly exaggerated flick so I'm just going to try and recreate that. And I am also going to take it down into the inner corner of my eye. Okay, okay, so I am happy with that, but I also feel like this look needs um, waterline eyeliner as well. So I'm using my Bourjois Coal and Contour um, liner. And you're going to line right the way along your waterline. Um, yeah, it's up to you Like if you want to do the top bit as well like I'm doing now. I'm just going to do into, yeah, just a little bit like that I suppose. And you can go right into the corner if you want to, just depending on how heavy you want this makeup look to be. Next up I'm using my Estee Lauder Sumptuous Extreme Volume Mascara. This has got so many words in the title of it, like seriously, it's Sumptuous Extreme Lash Multiplying Volume Mascara and that is quite a tongue twister to say all of that really quickly. For lashes I'm taking my Girls of Attitude London Fantasy Lashes and these ones are called Princess Lash. These lashes are actually really good value because um, I've seen them, well I first heard about them from Primark because they had them in there and they were just about £3 and for lashes that's quite good and they actually turn out to be really good lashes. I tried that other mermaid, oh, what were they called? I don't know. Like mythical lashes and they were so good but I broke them if you just want to make sure that the line of the lashes is completely immaculate if you want to say then you can just touch it up with your liquid liner Moving onwards to my sort of, the final bit of my face makeup, I am going to start looking at the contour. Now looking at the picture, Megan, whatever she's called, doesn't seem to have like a defined contour. So she just looks kind of quite sun-kissed. So I'm going to use my Nip and Fab contour palette and I think I'm just going to do sort of a light dusting over with the sort of lighter shades in here. And we'll just see how that turns out. Now, as you can see, I'm clearly not sun-kissed. And so I, yeah, this just has to be a kind of ish look. I should have put some fake tan or something, then it would look more like her. I know I said she doesn't really have a contour, but I just really want to. She also doesn't seem to have really any highlight on and I don't know, maybe highlighter wasn't around in her day but it might have been so I'm going in with my Revolution Strobe highlighter just because this one is fairly, um, I don't know, you can build this one up without it looking too obvious that you've got highlighter on. So I'm just going to start to build it up a little bit.
Now her lips do look very glossy, so I think that is fine to put a bit on my cupid's bow. I feel so caked in makeup right now. I never ever wear this much makeup, but oh well. Now the last little bit to do is the lipstick. So I'm just looking through my lipsticks just to pick the best one because she doesn't really have a bold lip. It's kind of more of a rosy pink colour, so I'm just going to have a look. Okay, so I think the best one to use will be this Estee Lauder Pure Colour Envy lipstick. Um, and this one is in Dynamic. I think that is the right colour, actually. This is good match for her. And then because this is a very glossy lip look, I'm just going to go over that with my Estee Lauder, um, it's very lush lip gloss. I think I'm just going to take a little bit onto my finger for this. So there we go, that is the finished Megan Bratz doll makeup look. I thought that was really funny because a lot of people obviously, as I said before, a lot of people seem to do the Barbie look and I haven't really seen, there's probably lots of them, but I haven't really seen many of the sort of Bratz doll inspired looks. So I just thought I would do that myself and I obviously picked the ginger one because I love ginger hair and I just wish my hair was ginger sometimes, but anyway, I I hope that you think it looks like her makeup, um, do let me know what you think down below and if you have a favourite Bratz doll, I think I did actually have a Bratz doll when I was younger, they were kind of like the bad Barbies, anyway I am rambling. I hope that you think this looks like her makeup and that you think it was an interesting and funny idea for a video. I am thinking all the time of interesting ideas for videos, so do let me know if you think of anything in the meantime, and I would love to hear from you. So do comment down below which your favourite Bratz doll is if you have one, um, not necessarily if you have a Bratz doll, but if you have a favourite one, <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying here. Um, anyway, yeah, it was lovely to film this for you guys, I hope that you enjoy it, and I hope also to see you in my next video. So goodbye and speak soon.